There are three kinds of knowledge a believer needs to excel. Number one, which is the highest, is spiritual knowledge. Spiritual knowledge. The knowledge of the word of God. Number two, intellectual knowledge. The knowledge of the laws that govern the cosmos. The knowledge of the laws that govern the cosmos. Then number three, knowledge as specific to whatever field of endeavor. I'll repeat that again. There are three kinds of knowledge every believer needs to have. Generally speaking, the highest is spiritual knowledge. Knowledge as revealed by the word of God. Number two, the knowledge of the laws of life. This physical world you see has laws and you must know it. There are laws you need to know, else you will fail. Number three, the knowledge in your field now, whether you are a doctor. So if the only thing you know is the knowledge of medicine and surgery, or the knowledge of law, or the knowledge of, um, um, uh, what do you call it now, engineering, or the knowledge of architecture, you will be limited in life. In as much as you are an intelligent person, you may say. Let me tell you the truth. The knowledge of your field your field of practice with respect to the realms of knowledge available is the lowest level of knowledge you can obtain so don't just say i'm a graduate i have masters in business administration i'm i i'm a, a consultant in medicine and surgery now I, I i appreciate you with respect to your field you will do well but with respect to living you will live so poorly and so defeated have you seen people who are so intelligent as far as their field of endeavor is concerned but rate them as per their life and destiny is nothing to be desired is because they did not contend for these three realms of knowledge let me repeat it again for your learning the highest level of knowledge that every believer must contend for is the knowledge spiritual knowledge the knowledge of the ways of god as revealed in scripture are we together the second level of knowledge is the knowledge of the laws that govern the cosmos. There are laws that govern the cosmos. And then number three, knowledge in your area of specialty or your area of, of endeavor. So you can be an architect and yet the results in your life and the quality of your life is beyond the practice of architecture. Because number one, you have wholesome spiritual knowledge. Number two, you understand the laws that govern the cosmos. i give you an example. The law of relationships is both a spiritual law and one of the fundamental laws that governs the cosmos. You can be very intelligent, but not knowing that law alone can cost you so much.